Hello everybody, good evening. Uh, my name is Edgar Lopez and today I will actually be talking about a neo artistilian method of rhetorical criticism for the 2020 presidential campaign created by Mike Bloomberg. Um, so started off right off the bat, um, Mike Bloomberg actually created this in the right time. Um, because of the presidential elections coming up in November, this is actually the time where all the presidential campaign ads start flooding the public. So actually, um, considering why this is being motivated by Mike Bloomberg is one is for politics, two is for finance, and three is for media um media media persuasion persuasiveness um one for politics is really because um you know mike bloomberg just wants to take office try to get president trump out of office and really just try to make something better for this country um really be a big win for the democratic party finance you know finance is is a really big important role in the presidential campaigns especially for all these candidates you know the more money you have the more top dog and the more um, chances you have becoming a president now it is unfortunately uh, mike bloomberg actually um, has hit the hit the record of putting the most money into a presidential campaign ever. Um, I know Trump in his last election was actually, uh, that was one of the factors on why he got presidency. Um, the next is really um, media pressure. Uh, one important one because, you know, there's a lot of talk about candidates saying, you know, something that could potentially make or break an opposing candidate or even for themselves. Um, Mike Bloomberg is really just trying to send an emotional message to the American people that he can do better than what Trump is doing. Um, Bloomberg is also trying to send a message to Trump and to their administration that they're, everybody's watching, the, you know, the whole United States is watching. Any move can really make or break another presidency. Um, really, the invention towards this video was very emotional. The first five seconds of the video will show how, you know, being a president for, for Trump was angry, out of control. You know, we really don't, really don't need him. Um, it was arranged to a billion not so good image for Trump. Then at the end, started building up an image for Bloomberg that he can actually do better for the people. And lastly, uh, I will use this rhetorical method of neo artistilian in a real life message, uh, framing example to resist persuasive messages, such as campaign ads, by not falling into what people tell you on TV, by not fa falling into what people tell you on media. We actually have to do our research, you know, actually understand what people are throwing into our, our faces, what they're actually feeding us in the media and nowadays. And we actually know how to construct and break down these persuasive essays. So we actually understand that we're being persuaded into something, you know, persuading into voting someone. Um, really, everything in this, in America at least, is persuasive. So we really have to just um, do our own information, try to understand where this information is coming from and how it is trying to make us feel as a community as a whole.